Let's create a pig from a bottle. Check out the materials below. Here's how to make the body of your pig. Let's start off with the length of the pig's body. Each breed is a different length, so we're gonna start by making a slice where we can push the bottle together. Have an adult do this step with an X-Acto knife. After that, it should be easy to take scissors and just cut all the way around. Now you can combine the two halves together and get it to the correct length for your breed of pig. Use masking tape to secure the two halves together. Here's how to make the legs. Start with a piece of aluminum foil Roll and form it into the shape of a leg. Check to make sure that it is the right size for your pig. Repeat that step for the remaining legs. To attach the legs to the body, I'm gonna take a piece of masking tape and wrap it around one end of the leg making sure that the tape is sticking up past it. Then I'm gonna make four cuts, so that way I have little panels that will stick to the bottle. Place it and attach it. Then we're gonna go back in with even more masking tape to secure it to the bottle. Make sure that it's touching both the leg and the bottle at the same time so it will not fall off later. and repeat for the remaining legs. How to make the ears. Take a piece of foil and fold it a few times into the triangle. Check that the sizing of the ear is correct for your pig breed and the size bottle you are working with. Use masking tape to strengthen the edges. Using the masking tape, attach it to your bottle in the correct place. Tape both the front and the back of your ear, and if need be, trim your ear to the correct size. Repeat the process with the other ear. Depending on the breed of your pig, the ears are either standing straight up or bent over. Make sure to show the correct one. Here's how to make the tail. Using a small piece of foil, roll it into a coil by squishing and forming it. To strengthen the foil, add small pieces of tape. Then carefully attach the tail to the bottle. Now that your structure is built, here's how to paper mache. This requires a thin piece of paper like newspaper. Tear them into strips that will wrap around your piece. We are using a paper mache paste. You can find recipes online. Take a strip of paper and dip it into the paste, then that will be used to be wrapped around your sculpture. Make sure that you are using your fingers like a squeegee to take off almost all of that paste. Your strip of paper should just feel damp. 
As you are wrapping it around your sculpture, make sure to pay close attention to the areas where you have attached something, in this case the legs or the ears. Those are going to be the weakest parts, so you're going to need to make sure you really put a lot of paper around there and really attach it to the body. Focus on those connecting points first. Then you can start taking those strips of paper and wrapping it up the legs and as well as the bottom of it, which would be the bottom of the foot. Then I'll just continue wrapping the underside of our pig with the strips of paper. Back on the top side, the tail is a weak spot that needs to be strengthened with quite a bit of paper and paper mache paste. So make sure to get that connection point really strong and then start wrapping the tail with tiny strips of the paper mache paste and the strips. Now for the ears, I started on the inside of the ears rather than the outside. Going all the way up and making sure to wrap the edges of the strips of paper that stick off up around the ears. And then I started doing the top side of the ears. And because the pig I am doing, the breed, his ears are bent over. So make sure to bend it now while it's still wet. Repeat the same process for the other ear. Now I'm just gonna finish wrapping the top side of his body When wrapping his nose, I made sure that these strips of paper were going from the tip of his nose back to the face. This will just kind of help fill in that gap there. For a stronger sculpture, apply at least three layers, allowing to dry in between. Once it is dry, you can begin painting. Because we are attempting to paint this pig according to its breed, the one I'm doing is a spot, I'm going to start by mixing a light gray to paint the light gray around the spots that go on this pig. Next, I'm going to go in and attempt to make the pale pink that is covering the rest of his body. The center of these spots are black, so I'm just going to take just plain black and dab it in the middle going towards the edge of the light gray, but making sure enough is still showing. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker pink for the facial features, painting a circle for the eyes and then the nostrils as well as the mouth. Then I'll go through and paint the black eye. 
Once the paint is all dry, I will go through with a pen and write the breed name on the underside, just for future reference. And here's our final product, a pig made from a bottle.